Hi, it's June Millich here. This video is to help you set up a Windows Live Mail account and then be able to connect um, email that you have set up with HostGator for associated with uh, one or several domains that you have set up. So I will just tell you a quick um, kind of like a sequence of how things worked for me and um, granted this was spaced over a period of time because it took me a while to figure out how to do it all. So hopefully this will help you do it a little bit faster. I set up a fan page. I was um, in the class that you'll hear about through the internet marketing bar and we were we needed to set up a domain name. So there'll be information on all that in, pre in other videos. But what I did is I set up a domain name and I set up a host for it and I first used GoDaddy and then later on I transferred over to HostGator. So at HostGator I found out that with the email that I had, uh, the kind of program they, they had was that I could have that mail actually, once it was received by HostGator uh, for my d domain, that then they would send it to me at an account and the account they would send it to would be a one of the options was a Windows Live account, a uh, live mail. So I didn't even know if I had one. I did know I had a Windows Vista and that's what I was using. So I came over here. I wanted to show you how I found out. I just typed in Windows Live and there it is. It was already early on, but so it's right there. So I click on it and this is something you could actually do early on. You don't have to you do have to have your domain name and you do have to um, basically you're just setting up an outlook.com site and it's probably one of the earliest steps you can take so that later on you can have everything just sent right to it. So um, this is how mine looks right now but I'm going to pause the video and show you what the sign up page looks like. So if you haven't created an account for some reason it didn't maybe because I was signed in it took me to my page where I've already signed in, but it will take you to a page like this. It says Outlook, and you kind of come down here to sign up now and click on that. Whoops, couldn't find it. Yes. Well, it keeps taking me back to this. So I'm going to put it on pause and see if I can show you what the sign up page looks like. Here it is. This is the page you're going to see when you click on sign up now. So you just type in your name first and last and it's going to ask you for a username. Now this is not something that anybody is going to see. So unless you want to send email from this site. But if, remember this is going to be a place for you to receive it and you can check it really easily all in one place. Every email account that you have associated with a domain name on HostGator can be sent to an account like this. This just is the one that happens to work on the kind of computer I'm using. So a great thing about this is that it will show you um, if a name is already used. So I'm going to put it on pause and I'll just type in something like okay. and how I know if it's taken or not is as soon as I go to create the password it's going to tell me it's already a Microsoft account. And then if it's yours, meaning like, is it mine? Then just sign in now. Well, no, it's not mine. But that was just to demonstrate to you that let's say if I put in Save the Whales 1, that would be um, something that I could use. So we'll continue. I'll just exit out of that and just show you what this page looks like. You're going to create your password, your zip code. You're going to give a phone number. They're not going to call you, um, though it is one way you can receive a security code. And that is a process that you can go through later on. And anyway, then you create your account, and that's where the security code part comes in and all. But all of this that you've entered in here could eventually be changed, but you do want to be sure that when you have an alternate email address that you're using an email address that you access, like whether it's a Gmail, a hotmail, um, something that's you get too often that because if you've 
misplaced your password, they'll send it to this email address and you can get it. I'm going to put this on pause as I go to the next step. Well, there was a little bit of a delay for me when I first did create the account. And that's why I say, hmm, it's kind of nice to get this set up before you're thinking, oh, I want to you know, get everything going, get my blog set up and all that. It's just one of the preliminary steps. For me, what happened was that when I did create an account, it said um, that the Windows page was not responding right then and wait a while, try again, or wait 24 hours. And I thought, um, I was getting impatient at that point. So I waited a little bit, probably got up and got a snack or something. It was that night and came back and decided I would just sign in again, like set up an account. So I went through that process again. And as soon as I typed in the um, account that I had set up for myself, uh, it's, it said to me, this account is already taken. So that told me that the system had actually accepted my account information. At that point, I just closed up shop for the night, went to bed, kind of like rested my mind. And in the next morning, I went in and signed, went into the outlook.com, signed up for, um, entered my email and my password and it worked. So from there, the first thing I wanted to do was try it out. And I sent myself an email to a couple of different accounts I have just to see what would happen and I received them and then I sent mail back from those as well. Just again, to make sure that there was communication going on between the two accounts. And so the next thing I did was I came back to the HostGator and this is what the page looks like. It's your cPanel it's called. And the cPanel is actually your control panel. So, um, and I'll scoot it up and that's what it looks like. There's your con HostGator control panel. So I came here to the mail section, which is right in here. And I went to the email accounts and I thought, okay, now the point of this is I wanted to make sure that they were going to be connected to that Outlook account. And this is where I set it up. Um, I had, I did it admin at findyourperfectmarket.com. I created my password and it will let you know, you know, if it's very weak or whatever. And I just said, you know, I just, I think I might've just left it at the default and did create an account. So then it popped up here and came over to this and because I had another step to do. And here's what that other step was. I had to make sure I could access my webmail. And so right now it's logging in and it's checking. So there's, first of all, this tells you, here's, by the way, admin at findyourperfectmarket.com. Then here is, these are three different ways that you can read the mail. And, um, but before you can even make sure you're getting the mail, you have to click on this, configure mail client. And this is why I created the Windows Live Mail account because I had to use one of these applications. And this applies for if you have a Mac, but none of these applied to me. This I found did because I had a Windows um, Vista, and I honestly don't remember where I found that out. But I came over and clicked on this instead of the pop. The IMAP will store everything, the pop doesn't. And it takes you through a couple of screens but you just click through and frankly, I was left wondering, did it work? So I went back again to the C panel. I um, signed in again, logged in again. This is all just to check it. And when I ch logged in that time, this is what I did see that I did have this email address. And then I thought, well, have I gotten an email? So I have tried you can try out each one of these you're never I think committed to any of them but it's pretty cool because you'll see oh my gosh mail did arrive and that will be here was one I sent testing another was I had received two emails from WordPress and I wanted to be sure I was getting the mail from WordPress because I set up the email address but I hadn't gone through the steps that I just showed you so that mail was out there it came in and now I know that I 
can I can read it, I can forward it to any email address I want, but it's definitely going to also go to my Outlook and will let me know that I have mail. Hope you enjoy all of this and have fun getting yourself set up.